All right, guys, we're back. Want to touch base again? I wanted to go over a little bit here of uh, what we're doing with this particular project. Uh, as we saw in the earlier video, we got the gel coat in the mold. It's curing. We're ready to go ahead and start putting the mat in, which is step one of the mold. Um, I kind of want to touch base on a couple things. Where we're going with this build, um, as you followed a couple of the other videos, um, this boat has Conrad 540s, which is a, we like to drive. We thought about going to a number six Mercury, but after talking to Conrad and the availability of the parts, and it, it's a pretty stout drive. I mean, it's got big U-joints in it, big gears. Um, we've taken them apart, we've checked them. Uh, I think we're gonna stick with these. For some reason, these straight bottom top guns with number sixes on them, seem to porpoise a lot and I'm sure you can get them good with you know time and effort but I will say with Mercury 575s that were bone stock and these Conrads uh, this boat went 80 miles an hour it, some days it went 79.5 some days it went 81.5 you know, it was right around 80 so we'll just call it dead nuts 80 with a full interior full cabin um, and it ran straight it was happy um, some say that I can't believe you take it apart as far as you did. Well, we kind of had to, we found a rotten transom and then, you know, unfortunately up front, we found the rotted stringers and, um, the boat probably would have stayed together for another 30 years the way it was. It was not that bad, but, uh, for those of you that have these 1990 Top Guns know the liners move a lot. They crack, they flex, you really can't get them to stay. So, which is why we gutted the liner. We did the two inch stringers. Um, we did the new fuel tanks, the fuel tank stringer. We did the new transom. We did, we smoothed out the entire transom with tons of filler and grinding and sanding and fairing. And we just got a layer of gel coat on that side today to see how it was gonna look. And boy, it's a, it's a thin layer, but man, is it, uh, really is coming along nice it's nice and flat so we're gonna get some more material in there um we did get the gel coat in the mold as we spoke earlier it's curing we are going to come back get the mat in that mold um so we'll talk about the drives a little bit on uh, the motors kind of where we're at with this thing we talked a little bit about the video yesterday um we're gonna run big blowers, 1071 blowers, intercoolers. We're gonna run the uh, new hot Holly throttle body injection that's out. Um, those kits, I got fuel lines all made up real nice. Um, I actually got them from another member uh, on OSO. I was able to buy a complete kit. So we are gonna be running 540s. Uh, we took the factory 575 motor. If you sold the blowers, we throwed the older throttle bodies. The blowers were, were a little small. So we sold all that stuff. We took the heads. Uh, we did stick with iron heads. We went and had them completely rebuilt. Went to a 540, uh, big cams, um, big roller cams, switched everything over a roller. Big blowers. We're shooting for 850 to 900 horse, somewhere right in there. And, and I think this boat should be well in the mid 90s. So that's what we're looking at. Ran 80 with a cabin and everything in it was, you know, 575 a side. So I'm thinking, if, you know, we're 875, 900. This thing should be mid 90s. Well, we shed some weight from that cabin, built it kind of stout. I weighed everything when I took it out. We were at 1,548 pounds worth of cabin and wiring. We probably put back 500, so we shed a good thousand. I shortened the fuel tanks a little bit, so uh, this thing should rock and roll. So I'm excited to get it on the water, hopefully in the springtime. But I just kind of want to give you an idea of the build. Uh, we're going to be uploading every week. Uh, we're hammering on this thing. I've got a custom step we're building here for the front of the trailer. It'll be a side step. It will not stick out any farther than the fender. It'll be in this area right here, so you'll be able to walk up and get to the bow. And then uh, once this thing's wrapped in primer, we're going to pull this trailer out again and uh, blast it, paint it, get some new wheels on it. Um, I'd like to do wheels to match the truck. We'll have them cut. We'll get some planks and have them cut. So uh, 
we'll go from there. But that's where we're at right now. I just wanted to give you a little uh, update and kind of the direction that we're going to go with this project. So uh, hopefully we get some people with some interest in it and uh, follow this build and uh, keep on trucking for the quest for mid 90 mile an hour boat. Uh, we'll go from there. I, I just want you guys to see that, you know, this is an average garage. I'm an average guy. Anyone can do this stuff. Anyone with just a little bit of time, some effort, some research, you know, you don't have to pay huge money to have it done. Um, that truck up there is a super budget truck. As we talked before, I got minimal in that truck. And everything on this boat I've done myself, um, except that the only thing I really haven't done was the engine balancing and stuff like that. I had my machine shop guy do all that. But other than that, all this demolition and building and construction is uh, all me. I, I've had a couple friends come over and help me tear some stuff out, you know, if I had some heavy stuff, but it's mostly been uh, just all my manual labor. Um, I had an envision of I wanted these molds, I wanted the new style dash, I wanted the new style step, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. And I was hell bent on making it happen, and uh, I found a boat that was wrecked, and we were able to pull some molds off of it, and here we are. So, uh, until the next time, guys.